Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So you've got the negotiation card coming up over there. You've got uh, Jupiter sitting there in Libra over there. So there's a need to um, you know, look at that situation carefully um, and you know, try to be very diplomatic in whatever you're doing. You might be negotiating uh, you know, more money for a job or maybe even negotiating a salary um, in itself. Or even uh, you know, this negotiation could be um, you know, about uh, friendships or uh, relationships. Uh, but there's definitely some sort of um, uh, negotiation happening over there. Um, you've got the appreciation card over there. So this is some good news coming in over there that's going to bring in a lot of abundance. You've got this cornucopia over here. And um, you've got moon there in a Leo. So uh, this is about, you know, maybe uh, messages of love coming in over here. Uh, but whatever messages is com are coming in um, are going to be, uh, you know, they're going to make you feel very, very happy. Um, with this uh, appreciation card. Now, there's some kind of choice that you have to make, so you've got to be very discerning. So this could be a, a new job offer. This could even be a relationship. You've got to look at things very, very carefully. Make sure you're doing your, your research uh, because you've got um, Venus there in uh, Virgo, and this Venus, uh, Virgo is the sign of being, uh, you know, very discriminating about what you choose and how you choose it. So transformation is coming, but whatever choice you have to make, uh, you know, it could be a new job coming in. You've got to be very discerning about um, whatever that choice is. So do your research. Now, in the past, you've got this seduction card over there. So this could be a relationship that you were dealing with. And this could, you know, Jupiter there in Pisces. This could have been an ending of a relationship over there. This could also be something that you're very, very um, obsessed with. You know, a seduction card is something that you want very, very, uh, you know, desperately. There's something that you, you feel that you need desperately. So this could be either a, a new relationship. This could be a love relationship over there. But this could also well be, uh, you know, a job. Uh, or something, uh, you know, some kind of object that you have your desire, your heart set on that you are going for. And, uh, you know, if this is a new job, it seems like you've needed to organize yourself. You've got Mercury there in Capricorn. So working pretty hard, being very, very organized over there um, and being very disciplined. Um, and it seems like, you know, you're going for something. Um, so there might be some kind of goal that you're trying to achieve. You want it really, really badly, and you're having to work and be very disciplined in order to achieve um, that particular job or that particular goal. It looks like it will come to you. You've got that appreciation card of here. So whatever news you're going to be hearing, it seems like it's going to be pretty good news. Um, so going into the future, you've got the inheritance card over here and you've got the fortune card. So these are two cards of money. So Saturn shows that with this inheritance card. It may be an inher uh, inheritance coming to you, uh, maybe somebody leaving something for you in a will. But uh, this could also be, um, you know, working towards achieving that goal and uh, money coming in from it. So whatever it is, is going to be paying off. Um, you've got Saturn over there. You've got that nice big castle. So it looks like stability coming in, maybe even acquiring property in some form or the other there with that inheritance card. Uh, you've got the fortune card over here, so that is uh, getting recognition and fame internationally over there. With the sun in, in Leo, it's being focused on your goals, uh, getting through obstacles, overcoming them, and being really um, successful at whatever it is you're doing. This could also mean that you know you could be traveling internationally as well, or there's some way in which you you get the public recognition and fame that comes with it. So there's money coming in over there, and that's going to change your luck. Um, and it's also uh, there's also a lot of recognition coming in, a lot of success coming in over there. So those are the energies for that week. So I'm going to be drawing some cards from the um, Eight Points Tattoo Tarot.
Okay, so at the bottom of the deck you've got the Empress card, and this is a really good card to have because it shows that abundance is coming your way and success is coming your way, your way and as well as a lot of money coming your way because the Empress card is ruled by Venus and that, uh, you know, rules your personal finances as well. So there's some kind of good news coming in. You've got that little bird on her shoulder over there and uh, this shows that, you know, there's some luxury coming to you. So whatever you've been expecting, you can see this woman is pregnant, is going to start coming into your arena. So whatever your intent is, how you set your, your intention, if that is a positive intention, it looks like whatever you've been focusing on is getting to come your way. Now you have been quite stressed out about things. You've got that eight of swords feeling very restricted, very anxious, uh, you know, as though you're in the dark right now and very tied up. And this could be about financial issues that you may be having. Or this could even be in a relationship. You know, you could be having going through a, a period where you're, uh, you know, uh, were feeling very restricted, very, very unhappy. Now, the Empress card could also be about pregnancies. So you could be hearing news about pregnancy or you yourself could be uh, pregnant at this particular moment. Um, so what's going on with you? There's uh, the Two of Cups over here, and you've got the Queen of Swords over here. So there's a new relationship coming in over here, new meetings coming in, so or new partnerships coming in with that Two of Cups. So this could be in the form of uh, an actual relationship. Um, if you are in a relationship, it looks like that is going to you know get stronger, um, a better connection being made over there. You've got the Queen of Swords over here. So it looks like maybe you, a new relationship coming in there with that Two of Cups, because the Queen of Swords is generally a card of um, the divorce or see of the tarot so maybe you went through a period uh, you know where you have had separation from somebody or you've been you know you've had to give up a relationship feeling very very lonely and now a new uh, relationship comes in uh, with that two of cups energy over there so in the past, it looks like you've left things behind and you've walked away from a situation. It seems like, you know, you've walked away on your own, been ostracized from the pack, let, you know, feeling very isolated, very lonely, uh, and having to go on your own route, uh, you know, having to sort things out, having to use, you know, all your, um, you know, brain power to get things sorted out. Um, if this was a, a job that you've left, you've had to, you know, leave it off because there was a lot of lies, deception going on over there. You've had to take your skills and move on. The Hermit card is also being, you know, spending a lot of time by yourself um, and very, being very focused on, on whatever it is you're, you're doing. So if you've left a new situation or new job, um, you've spent a lot of time by yourself, feeling very, very lonely, very, very isolated, but you've learned a lot of lessons with that Hermit card over there. So, um, you've got the um, ten of uh, rods over here, and uh, this is about, uh, you know, letting go of a very, very difficult situation. Um, it looks like, you know, um, whatever it is had you very, very burdened, and you've had to let go of those burdens. It was really bringing you down. It was really causing your downfall, whatever all these burdens were. You can see this crow is actually, uh, you know, uh, it's lost its footing and it's falling to the ground over there because of all the burdens that it's carrying. So, you know, whatever the situation was, there was a lot of battles, there was a lot of fight, there was a lot of conflict, and it looks like you've had to let it go because it's been, you know, bringing you down. It's been weighing you down, and you, you almost feel as though it's destroying you. Um, so it looks like, uh, you know, you've had to walk away from that circumstance. So what's coming in for you? You've got the Three of Cups. So this is a lot of, uh, you know, some kind of celebration coming in over here. Um, this is also about meeting new friends, making new acquaintances, uh, and a lot of happiness coming in with this um, Three of Cups over here. There's a lot of candles there, so there's a lot of enlightenment. These are good friendships, um, you know, and uh, these are people that you can trust coming in for you here. So what's happening with you? It looks like there's a brand new job as well that is coming in. You've got that Ace of Pentacles over there. Uh, so, you know, you, you've left a very difficult situation. And it looks like whatever, you, you know, money is going to be coming in with that Empress card. And now you've got that Ace of Pentacles. So whatever you want is going to be coming into your arena. Now all your expectations are, you know, starting to manifest. Uh, and with that Ace of Pentacles being very, very focused on that coin. And it looks like that money will be coming in for you. So if it's a new job that you're after, it looks like it's going to be, you know, uh, it's, going, it's going to be yours. And you've got that Three of Cups over there, so there's a celebration about getting this new job. Uh, because it seems like you've gone through a really rough patch uh, recently with that Hermit card over there. But you do need to stay determined and focused with that Queen of Swords. Uh, and uh, it looks like, you know, there's that new partnership or there's... 
maybe, you know, this is even about signing new contracts, seeding the deal with a handshake. So this could be a new contract that you're signing, a new job coming in for you there. Uh, but there's certainly new money coming in over there with that Ace of Pentacles. And there you got it. Uh, this is the Queen of Pentacles. You're definitely going to be earning well, being very focused on the money. And, uh, you know, it looks like whatever this new job is, there's even a promotion that's, uh, you know, uh, on the cards for you on the horizon. Uh, so w even though you've been going through a really difficult period at this particular moment, it looks like all of it is about to change. So you just need to remain positive. Uh, don't get stressed out. Don't get anxious. It looks like, uh, the, you know, things are turning around for you. Money is coming in with that Queen of Pentacles. Uh, it looks like there is that new offer that's going to be made to you. So there's the Ace of Wands over here. This is in your hopes and fears. You are looking at a new prospect. So there will be something that comes into your arena that you will consider. Uh, and, you know, it's an offer that's going to be made to you. You can see the person is being presented with the, the, the wand. So an offer will be presented to, to you. And this will allow you to start a new job and earn a lot more money. Uh, it's in some kind of management position as well. So just hang in there and be positive about, uh, you know, whatever is going on. Now you've got um, this uh, Knight of Wands, so you might have to move to do this job. You might have to travel to do this job. But it's definitely a new uh, offer that you accept uh, and you're going to be moving on and you're going to be able to make plans for the future as well. So the decision is going to be very quick. You're going to have to make a decision pretty quickly. Make sure you're doing your research uh, before you make that decision, but it will come your way. You've got the lover's card over here, so this is a choice that you will have to make. So there the decision will be made about what you're going to be doing. Uh, you know, just watch out for people around you that might be a bit toxic, uh, you know, people not supporting you. Um, you know, don't divulge all your intimate details about whatever's going on with you. But it looks like, uh, you know, there's, there's that offer there coming in over here. Uh, so stop crying over the job that you've lost and accept the new offer that comes in. And if this is a relationship thing, uh, a relationship coming in for you, uh, stop crying over the relationship that is gone and accept a new offer that comes in for you. So this could be even a relationship. You've got the lover's card coming in over there next to it. So this could be a very, very uh, prominent love relationship that comes in for you on offer. Um, and, you know, it could be uh, uh, something, you know, you, there you are accepting it. Uh, somebody who is uh, very much in tune with you. Uh, like I said, you've got uh, that two of cups over there. So this could be either a job offer or this could be a new relationship that comes in. But it's a very good one. It's going to make you very, very happy. And there's, like I said, this handshake seeding the deal over there. So this, if this is a job offer that is coming in for you, um, you know, the Queen of Swords, she also signs new contracts. So this could be a new contract si uh, being signed on the job front as well. Uh, you just need to stay determined, stay focused, and it looks like that offer is going to be making its way to you and it's going to bring in a lot of money. So there's definitely a change in your financial status and it's for the better. So things are, are looking up over there, and so don't be despondent or don't um, worry so much. Uh, you know, just go with the flow. Things have happened for a reason. You were carrying a lot of burdens and responsibilities, and they were bringing you down. Maybe you don't recognize that they were detrimental to you or your help, um, but this new circumstance is going to be much better for you. So you've got the five of air over here, so an unwise, unwise choice. Learn what you can from the situation and review everybody's motives. Now, the five of air is about conflict that you were dealing with. So there was a lot of conflict that you were dealing with, um, and maybe this is the reason why you've had to leave the situation. You've got the six of fire, so this is victory after a lot of problems, and there's good news on its way to you, pe public recognition or awards. So whatever it is you're going through, um, you know, you've been through a lot. You can see that with that ten of rods, been through lots of lots of problems. But it looks like you are coming out of it quite victorious. And there's some good news coming in over there. And it, it looks like it's going to be that new job that comes in over there because you've got that ace of pentacles. And it jumps right up to the queen of pentacles. So it's a, you know, it's a very well-paid job that's coming in. You've got the three of water over here again. So this means that a time for celebration. 
so also need to have more fun so you are going to be cel celebrating some really good news because you've got the six of fire which is also a celebration card and the three of water is a celebration card as well and you've got the three of uh, cups which is the three of water this is also celebration in the main spread so it looks like whatever it is you've got your mind set on whatever job opportunity comes your way you go to get it and it looks like it's going to be bringing you a lot of happiness and a cause for celebration as well so best of luck and i hope that this reading has resonated with you and please don't forget to like share subscribe leave me some comments if it has and thank you so much for watching take care now goodbye